Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so last week I did a freezer challenge and it was really successful. So I decided to do another freezer challenge this week. So in my freezer, I had this chicken gyro set uh, or kit, excuse me, from Aldi. I actually tried it out last year and it was really good and they brought it back. So I grabbed one and put it in my freezer. So the kit makes five large sandwiches. So let me show you what comes in the kit. You get the chicken, and I think I counted like 18 pieces of chicken. It's already cooked, so you just have to heat it up. And then same thing with the pita. You get five pita uh, bread, and they're pretty good size. Like this is my hand uh, stretched out, so pretty decent size. And then it comes with the tzatziki sauce. So last year, the only thing I didn't really care for was the tzatziki sauce because it is sour cream based. And when you freeze sour cream, it's just not the same. Um, so I did get some tzatziki sauce from Aldi, which I do like. It's made with Greek yogurt. So I'm going to use that instead of the tzatziki sauce. Um, Howard, my husband, he may use what came with the package. I don't know, but I just know that I didn't care for it. So once I get everything all plated up, I'll come back. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. One thing I failed to mention was that the gyro kit comes frozen. So did wanna let you know that you do have to thaw it in your refrigerator overnight before you use it. Um, but I am serving the gyros with some French fries, just uh, actually deep fried some of these Orita steak fries. And then we're using some red onion. I totally forgot to get lettuce, so there's no lettuce on there. Um, this is actually Howard's plate. He's got avocado and tomato as well. And I was wrong. I told you guys there were like 16 to 18 pieces of chicken. There's actually 20 pieces of chicken. So that's four per, eat, per sandwich. I think this kit was about, I think it was $12.99, which is really good because it's really, the sandwiches are pretty generous. So it's really not bad if you're feeding a family of four or so. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hi everyone, it is just before 6.30 in the morning here and I had a roast in my freezer that I needed to use. So that is what is in this crock pot. Now I don't know what type of roast this is. I'm 100% sure that it's not Chuck, um, but I did not write it down on my Ziploc bag and famous last words, I don't remember even though I thought I would. So in the bottom of my crock pot, I've got the roast. I had some fresh mushrooms in my fridge that were on their last leg, so they are in there. I have sprinkled some onion mushroom um, soup and dip mix on top, just one package. And then I also put a can of cream of mushroom in there as well. No liquid, I never put liquid in my roast. When that roast, as it cooks, it'll release juice, so you really don't need any liquid. And I know that those mushrooms are gonna release some juice as well. So I am going to cover and cook this on low for eight to 10 hours. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. I ended up uh, cooking that roast for about 10 hours. And here it is, turned out great. And there are the mushrooms serving the roast over just some uh, white rice and then some green beans on the side that I added some onions and bacon to. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard and I are trying out a new Mexican restaurant. So this is Howard's plate and he got a chicken burrito stuffed with, uh, it's fajita chicken actually. And they are the sides that come with it. I think that's queso, rice and beans. And then our chips um, just for the table came with several different types of sauces. As you can see, we've already eaten it. We've got some leftover chips there, some black bean dip, 
an avocado based dip and then salsa and some more black bean dip and then this is my plate i got a cheese enchilada plate with rice enchiladas and beans so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are using up some shrimp that I got on sale at Kroger last fall. Um, it was in my freezer, of course. So what I'm doing now is adding the shrimp to one stick or half a cup of melted unsalted butter. This is the shrimp that I'm using. It is so good. Normally this shrimp is about 15 bucks but I got it on sale for $7.50, so I bought several packets of it. Now I'm just adding some chopped garlic in there. And next I'm adding a packet of the garlic and herb salad dressing. Any kind of Italian dressing will do, whatever your favorite one is. And you're just gonna sprinkle it in there, stir it up, and then just let it simmer um, or cook or saute until that shrimp is ready. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up, serving the shrimp over some spaghetti noodles. And then we're having a salad, which is um, the same salad that we had the other day, and serving it with a side of garlic bread. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Okay, so here is another freezer meal. So in my freezer, I had this Bibigo Korean style crunchy chicken with sweet and spicy sauce. I discovered this, I don't know, I guess it's been a couple of years ago now. I love it, Howard is not a fan. That's why I don't make it as much as I used to make it. He doesn't, he thinks it's too crunchy. Um, but here it is, the chicken, it's over rice. I prepared mine in the oven and then I just made some broccolini to go with it on the side. Seasoned the broccolini with this Kinder's caramelized onion butter and Trader Joe's mushroom seasoning. It is really good. And then from Trader Joe's, I also had these vegetable bird's nest in my freezer. I had them, oh, I guess it's been a long time ago, um, and I wasn't sure I would like them, but I actually do like them. They are little bird's nest and the main ingredient is onion. So it's kind of like eating an onion ring. And there's also kale and carrot in there shredded. And I prepared that in the oven as well. So this is what we are, oh, and I forgot to mention the bird's nest, they come with a little dipping sauce. So there's a dipping sauce. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.